Hey everybody, welcome to All in a Row Gardening. If you're wondering why it's spelled wrong, well it's not. It's our last name. And this is my lovely wife Sarah. And I am the awesome, super amazing husband Cody. He likes to think. I cook all the time. He does also grow me vegetables, so... I can't complain, but so much. That's right. So, what we're going to do is we're creating this uh, channel to give tips and tricks. Things like that, but also trying to, uh, how would you put it, uh, sell some goods. As well to people who don't have the capacity or capability of... Um, well, that's bad. Growing from seed like we can. Yeah. We we have the ability to grow from seed due to indoor uh, and heat mats and lighting and stuff like that. So, it's nice to help other people out, but also basically recuperate our costs. Plus, what kind of happened is we ordered way too many seeds and someone decided to plant them all while I was at work. So, we have... About 15 times what you could actually plant in our yard. That's not wrong. It's She's, very accurate. It, it is very accurate. And um, people around our community seem to like it, so we want to kind of spread the word. Because I tend to go overboard on things. <laughs> that is how big my cucumbers will be this year so basically what we wanted to do was kind of share our journey through forming this business and also share his insight because I'm brand new to learning how to do anything with plants I've typically been the one that kills them all so sharing our journey and trying to you only educate. kill them when you kick them along the way and apparently my future career in soccer um, <laughs> so we actually have a couple of plants with us today that we can show y'all that we've grown everything from seed um, I'll start from the beginning all right so peppers take a long time to germinate okay these are Cubanelles. They are a very slow growing plant in general. Um, these are about two weeks old. And about three months from now, they'll probably be producing more Cubanelles than you can imagine. We, we had a lot of luck with them last year. We really did. Um, and me personally, I'm... Pretty much the one who eats most of the things that are grown. Um, They're good. They're a lot like a banana pepper. Very similar. A little bit sweeter, but I like them chopped up on top of a salad. It goes very, very nicely. Um, and then you advance on and they get a little bit bigger. That one's been growing for about a month now. Um, that's an ancho grande pepper. A little bit too spicy. Also for known me, as personally. when it's ripe, uh, poblano. And then we have our very, very spicy pepper that we grew this year. This one was started in March. It's a Pasilla Bajo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. It. Can you see me through it? <laughs> it's supposed to get very um, interesting blue markings on it while it's ripening and then turn like a chocolatey brown color as you know the, the fruit is ripe. Really looking forward to seeing this one more so than eating it personally. Uh, yeah, I don't do spicy I well, but um, really excited about this in our garden, so. And we've already got some planted out. This one's actually going to be for sale. It is. We also did a lot of types of tomatoes this year. Mm -hmm. um, 
I am, once again, the only one in the house that actually eats tomatoes, but somehow we ended up with eight different varieties of them this year. Yeah, we did. And we planted all of them. Yeah. Every seed. Yep. And there is a tree right behind me that proves, well, I'll go with the tree first. All right. So, here's what you're looking at a couple of weeks in. That's a purple bumblebee. That would be a purple bumblebee. That's a cherry tomato. All right. That then one's about a month. Stage two. That's trophy tomato. That's closer to your beefsteak or better boys. And see, small container, big plant. And then our real trophy so far has been our Azueca tomatoes. And that then one, we have this monstrosity, and we've got about 40 of them. That one was started in late February and is going to end up being a very pretty yellow variety tomato. Um, it's going to be the size of about a sandwich slicer. Really looking forward to trying that one out. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to not having them on the porch anymore. But then again, I did this. And all these... I want to remind you, are grown from did seed. This. this whole tray is just one of many that are on the porch right now. Now, not to be left out, we did also do a couple of flower types this year because, you know, can't have the entire yard being vegetables. It's going to be pretty too. So. And it also helps with germination because when the bees come in, they will germinate your other plants the pollen transfer has to happen on most plants some plants not so much that'll be covered in a later video this one is new for us this year it is a cherry rose sunflower so it's going to have more of a white with red variegated to it um really looking forward to seeing how that one turns out um, this next one we actually grew from seeds that we saved last year from the flowers that we grew. I managed to grow one chocolate cherry sunflower last year. Didn't realize it was going to have six heads. And I saved some seeds and I've grown this monstrosity. This is actually one of a couple that we have going from yeah. our plant last year. It's going to end up with a very, very deep burgundy red um, flower on it. And like he said, several heads will grow off of this one plant. It'll, um, start, it'll start putting off shoots right here and up here. And it will... Uh, yeah, and then if you want to save the seeds yourself, all you got to do is uh, wait till they dry out. Pluck them off. And that's certainly something that we can cover once that we get to that video. point and have one to actually show you how to do it. And the reason why it seems like there should be leaves here is because there were leaves here and here. And I took them off because they were um, not performing the way I wanted to. And it's better to take off leaves that aren't doing well. That's also going to help the stem strengthen up when we go and head and plant it outside. Um, that way, that way it's a little bit more sturdy. We get a lot of wind in our area, so no kidding. <laughs> Forty uh, miles an hour for three days. So it's just one of the <laughs> lovely things to our neighborhood is that we get a lot of wind coming through. So have to make sure that everything that goes outside has a sturdy stem and isn't going to get taken out immediately. Yeah, and um, we weather in our plants to the best extent we can. We never know when a frost is going to come in May, and then we're going to get 105 degrees in June. So, The joys of living in Virginia. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. It's, it's going to change. change. Yeah. And and that's the thing. But we want people to um, 
be able to, to find an affordable, like, uh, non, what would the word be? Non-chemicalized, I don't know if that's a word, but. I think organic kind of covers it. Like, d d organic seeds and stuff like that, or, or plants, but, but it's, I don't know. You're but, not going to get anything bad in it, and you're going to get more nutrition out of whatever. And with the flowers, um, they look pretty. Plus, the fruits and vegetables tend to taste a lot better coming out of the garden. A uh, fresh cucumber is amazing. Anyways, like we said, we just wanted to introduce ourselves and All in a Row Gardening. And we hope that you'll... Come find us on Facebook at All in a Row and like and subscribe to our channel to come back for more videos and tips and tricks. And That's why the thumbs up are there. Hopefully we'll be able to take you outside next time and start showing you our garden. Yeah, unfortunately the weather's been really, really bad. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to hear a thing because of the wind. And the rain. Yeah. Oof, oof. And yet they're still making us play baseball. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a good time. Come back and see us again. We'll be here. <laughs>